All right, so we got a Swin 270, and we got a little bit of um, issue with the resistance. I already took this loose. Of course, you can see it's just a screw here. Uh, I think it's one, one up there, one down at the bottom. There's another one right here, but you know, pretty much that's the easy part. <clears throat> I mean, the whole thing is actually easy. So what, what we have in here is this, as you can see all the way down, the, the motor sits all the way down here. And on this side, let me see if I can spin this around. If not, I'll take this off and show you exactly what's what. But what you want to do is, um, you're going to pop this out. you uh there we go and then there you got a 14 millimeter so i'm gonna use my best friend right here and i got a little angle on this so, so let me just uh straighten this up because i use this little use this thing all the time so i'm gonna take that loose now this is the part where you need a, uh, uh, um, this is called um, pedal pulley, whatever, you know, whatever it's called. But anyway, this will screw inside here until you find your, um, your space where you want. And then you will um, take this, take a wrench, you know, your wrench on this it's gonna pull your pedal arms off so see if i could do this i might can't do this with one hand i might have to cut and paste <laughs> but uh because this pedal gonna move but anyway as i tighten this piece it goes in against this shaft and then it pulls this off so basically that's what it does so um let me um let me take it loose and then I'll give you a better uh, description on exactly what we got going on here. All right, one second. All right, kind of loosen it up some. So as it go in, it pushes in, and I should be able to take this pedal off. So you can see as that go, if as that goes in, and it hits this right here, it pulls it out, and voila, it comes off. And so if you want to screw this off. I don't really need it no more. And keep this loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this flat like this. So we on because this this wire right here connects to the to the power up here. So it can keep this um keep the unit power. But anyway, so I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna hit a quick start right here. And alright. So you can hear that motor moving. So what I'm gonna do, so you can see, see the gap between here. So basically what happens here is, you can see the movement. But it's a, the motor is on this side. I mean, where well, the piece that controls it on this side. It's hard to see it, but there's a little piece back here. So when the motor spins, it rotates down, you know, back and left. And then it either is going to pull it back for less resistance or it's going to rotate the other way so the magnets can get closer to this so it can get a, get more resistance. So, you know, but what's happening, so if I hit, I'm going to hit the highest speed, 25 up here. So I'll hit 25. Oh, actually, you know what, take it back. I'm going to take it back to 1. Right. See, we got basically nothing. I mean, that's one, and now I'm gonna hit 25, watch this. It's, it's barely moving. So you see it's still a big gap between them. So how you fix this issue, it's right here. It's a potential number, right there. See that, that blue with the white, um, 
Phillips head. Rotate that just a little bit. Say about that much, you know. You can kind of get a feel for it as you go. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is go back to one. Now you can see that movement a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go all the way to 25 to the highest setting. Let's see what we get. See that? See how close that? See the difference? And I probably don't need that much. So I'm gonna rotate that, that potential arm on the back just a little bit. Cause it look like it's a little, but we got some space in there. Still a little space, but it's really tight. So that's how you fix that issue. You gotta take that off, rotate this back. And you find your sweet spot. I mean, I can't tell you where, what works for you. I can't say what 25 really feels like or what 21 or 18 or, or five. You just, once you find your spot, you feel like, okay, that's good for me. And hey, and as you hit your numbers, maybe your numbers might change now. Maybe four was your, your good spot of five or six. Now it might have to be a uh, three because you're adjusting that. So, you know, when they do it from the factory, it's a little different. So, but pretty much that's what you get. And I can see we're going to go back. We're going to let that go back to one. See how we open it up now. We got to see that gap. So basically before I adjusted that, the gap was just, Barely moving, opening and closing. So now we got a, a good opening, you know. So now I'm gonna go to 25 again. Let me see how much space I got. Let me see what we got. Yeah, I, I, I'll leave about right there. That looks pretty good. That looks like a good, good enough space for me so yeah that's how you fix that issue some in the manual it tells you something different put some cardboard in between go to the highest setting um unplug it and then on the other side of this over here is, uh, is, is where this arm is at this arm here is on a little metal plate with two screws on the other side once you unplug it they will ask you to slide that plate forward. So if you slide that plate forward, it would move this because it's connected here to this right here. It would get it closer, but I tried that. You know, that don't work. It might, but this way works. This is what you want. If you want your swing 270 to get the resistance back that you're looking for, take this left side off. Well, it could be left side sitting down, right side, standing up in front of it, whichever way you want to call it. But take that off, adjust that potentiometer to your liking, and put everything back together and get the pedaling. All right? And I would appreciate it if you can uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you.